Good morning, I'm Peter Dow. We want to update you on the stories we're working on today. Here is the rundown. The search is on this morning for the person who shot and killed a man outside a home in Santa Ana. Police say the victim was shot several times in the chest. No arrests have been made. Extra security and counselors will be at a high school where a fight between a teacher and student was caught on camera. 64 year old Marston Riley was arrested after it happened at Maywood Academy on Friday. Witnesses say the fight broke out after Riley told the student he was not wearing the proper school uniform. The 14 year old could be seen throwing a basketball at Riley before he unloaded a racist tirade. A GoFundMe campaign has raised more than $25,000 for Riley's legal fees. The midterm election is just one day away and hundreds turned out over the weekend for early voting here in Southern California. LA County early voting is closed, but you can vote today in person in Orange, Riverside and San Bernardino counties and polling places open at 7 a.m. tomorrow. You can visit CBSLA.com for a complete voters guide. And of course, we'll have all the results Tuesday night and Wednesday morning. Now here's Danielle Gersh with a check of the weather. Hey, Danny. Hi, Peter. So happy Monday, everyone. For today, we'll have temperatures right where we should be for this time of year in the low 70s along the coast, mid to upper 70s for the basin, upper 70s and low 80s for the valleys in the Inland Empire. It was a warm weekend today into tomorrow and Wednesday. It'll finally start to feel more fall like out there. After the fog mixes out this morning, we will have mostly sunshine highs today right around the low 70s along the coast, mid 70s downtown heading into tomorrow. We'll cool down by a few degrees continue that trend into Wednesday too. Then Santa Ana winds pick up. That means temperatures warming up to Thursday into Friday. Peter, back to you. All right, Danny, thanks. We are always on at CBSLA.com. And remember to join us on CBS 2 News at 11 a.m. I'm Peter Dowd. Have a great morning.